Hi ladies, Rachel Adams here. Today's tutorial is called Purple Haze, and it's called that because one of the spring 2015 makeup trends is to do an all over purple hue on your eye. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. To begin with, we're gonna start off with a fluffy blending brush. And I, the one that I'm using today is from MAC, it's a 220. And then also we're gonna be using the color, the unique pigment and color Giddy. This is a nice bright orange kind of peach color. We're going to really just push this into the crease and do in windshield wiper motions back and forth. This is one of my favorite and my go-to color for this my initial um, eyeshadow color. Because today's look is a purple look, um, many of you may know that orange and blue and some of the purples are the opposites on the color wheel and because of that the contrast is makes just a beautiful eyeshadow because it's just such it will cause the, the purple to just pop right there on your eye so once this is fully blended and you feel like you've got an even on both eyes um, again making sure you're gonna want to make sure that to go back and forth back and forth in windshield wiper motions and now once this is even we're gonna go in with a round fluffy brush unique has a a really beautiful brush that I love and now we're gonna go in with the unique eyeshadow color in the color regal which is a highly pigmented royal purple it's got a nice shimmer to it you're gonna to want to pat this color in because it is a shimmer and it's just such such a highly pigmented color you're gonna to want to really make sure that you press that in before blending so press it into the areas that you most want it and then blend it in. I blend with little circular motions just to make sure I really, really pat that color in. You're going to do for both eyes the same trend. And you don't have to worry about it being super perfect at this moment. You're going to go back in a few times and blend. So right now the most important thing is to really just get a nice solid layer of this color. Again, pushing it back and forth. Also, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you prep your eyes beforehand with a nice primer, whether you use concealer or a face primer, because you want to make sure that your eyes really hold onto this color. Next, we're gonna go in with a small rounded brush. This is a crease brush. And we're gonna go in with another dark purple. This time it's more of a burgundy purple and it's called Glamorous. It's a matte color. And we're really just going to push this color in at the crease, creating some really nice contrast. You don't want to go any higher than the crease, but you can blend it down onto the lid just a little bit. And again, because it's a matte color, you're just going to want to sweep back and forth, back and forth until really your arm hurts or your eyes hurt one or the other. When using a matte color, it's just really, really important to blend. Blending is the key to all successful makeup looks, no matter where you're at on your face. Now we're going in with the other eye, just making sure we get a nice, even coat and just blending, blending, blending again, like I said. Not only do you want to do windshield wiper motions and just push that color from the outer crease into the inner crease, but you also want to do small little circular motions and that will just really even out the color. So it'll just really pull that color evenly from the outer corner to the crease. Next we're going in with a flat angled brush, which is our eyeliner brush, and we're going to go in and I mix this with the same color Glamorous that we just used, the dark matte purple. And I'm just going to blend back and forth, sweeping this on my lower lash line back and forth. This you do not have to be precise, you just really want to make sure you get a good amount of color down there. As you can see I have green eyes so purple is one of the best colors to counter set green eyes. Again, opposites on the color wheel. So, so important. No matter what the trend is, you always need to do colors and fi find colors that are um, going to really highlight and accentuate your face, your eyes, your features. Now I'm going back in with the fluffy blending, blending brush. I have no color on my brush and I'm just blending that outer uh, or I mean the the brow bone. So this is where we're just blending those colors the original giddy color with the Regal and the glamorous and just really getting a nice hue and as you can see like I said The orange giddy color really causes a pop at that crease and really just accentuates the purple So it doesn't draw attention to itself now. I'm going in with a small fluffy brush and I'm going to sweep on 
or I'm going to pat on the color Sexy, which is a highly pigmented champagne type of a, it's got a little bit of pink in it, very, very shimmery. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pat that on. I also like to get my brush wet so that this goes on very, very thickly and it, it, it goes on highly, highly pigmented. So you're just going to pat this on, working kind of quickly, so that it doesn't dry on you, so that you can use that same wet texture all throughout the entire application. And then when it dries, it'll set nicely with such a very, very bright, bold color. Patting it on both eyelids and just really making sure you get a nice, even coat. You don't want to go any higher than the crease. You just want to keep this directly on the eyelid. And as you can see, it's beginning to mix already with some of the purple and just coming in with a nice, pretty, light, light purple, which is the key for this look. So just blend, 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 and remember, don't sweep and don't go back and forth, but really just pat. Now we're going in with a slightly larger, rounded, fluffy brush, and we're going to be using the color Regal once again. This is the color that we started with on our lid. Now we're going to just pat this color in a downward sweep, pat this color over the light color. What's going to happen is the light color is now going to serve as a base and it's really just going to help pick up the brightness of this purple and it is such a pretty color. It's very very electric kind of even neon but it's actually a perfect everyday look for the spring because although it looks very bright it's just so beautiful. Going back in with the color sexy just really really lightly putting it on a brush and sweeping that underneath the eyebrow just to kind of even up the entire lid and really just bring some nice highlighting points right under your brow bone. Just sweeping that in making sure that it's blended you don't want any harshness because it's so shimmery you don't want any splotches or areas that really grab a lot of light. Now I'm going back in with the fluffy brush and I'm just again blending that brow bone. Now I'm going back in with the crease brush with a dark matte purple color called Glamorous and I'm just really again edging out those that crease. Now again with the flat angled brush I'm mixing this with the color Corrupted which is our dark shimmery black. I mix that with a little bit of water and a little bit of my face primer called Glorious and I make a nice gel liner. You're going to sweep this very tightly across your lash line. I'm not going for a very, very, very bold lip liner. I start small and then I build on that. And But you are, I am going to do a slight wing tip. Not too much, but just enough. Again, when using a, an angled brush, you want to make sure that the highest point of the angle is going towards the direction that you're moving so that the highest angle now is going to, towards my outer eye and then when I'm coming in it's going towards my inner eye. That will just help move the color in an even stroke. Just a little tip. Now that this is done I'm going in with the color Prim. This is one of our eyeliners that I love for my brow bone because these are long lasting eyeliners um, and they're so so blendable I recommend this. I don't always recommend a pencil because it can look um, a little unnatural, a little harsh, but these pencils are so good that they just blend right out that I, it never has any of that harsh look. So I usually focus on the bottom of my brow, just kind of pencil in the areas that look a little wispy. Again, focusing on the bottom, just lightly with a very light hand filling in the brow. And then I just go in and kind of in natural type strokes just sweep in where the sparse and I always blend it with our brow lash comb because the boar bristles are so um, they're so packed and they don't really move that they just really pull that color evenly and I love it and because it's so little so now I'm gonna go put on the rest of my face makeup because you know you always start with your eyes and voila here you have a perfectly purple haze look It's perfect for the spring even the summer it's just a go-to look and it is gorgeous As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.